Summit County bus drivers facing a switch from a four-day to a five-day work week say the change will inflict hardships, including added commute time and less time with families. Depending on exact schedule assignments, some drivers may work 12-hour shifts on some days and only five hours on their fifth day of work. This is Jenny Coberly for the Summit County Citizen's Voice, online at summitcountyvoice.com. Bob Berwin talks with Bill Acuff, a Summit Stage driver and union negotiator, about the four-day versus five-day work week, the Summit Stage schedule, and the impacts on the drivers and the community. Uh, speak a little bit to the uh, scheduling change that the Summit Stage management has proposed with regard to switching from what you've long had, which is a four-day work week, to a five-day work week. They're claiming that it's going to save them a lot of money. What's your, what's your feelings? What are your feelings on that? Well, first of all, I've been employed for the stage for three years. And in that time, the four-day work week has been every driver's preference. Because all of us simply want to enjoy all of the things that you can enjoy in Summit County. This change came to us without prior notification or any indication that it was going to change until last week when the schedule was presented to us. It's difficult for me not knowing the parameters that were given to the consultant as to why the schedule came out five days with no four days. All, all I can speak to is it's a drastic change and has made life miserable or potentially miserable for lots and lots of the drivers, especially the people who commute from Kremlin, uh, Fair Play, and for that means some people from the front range. They're now going to have to drive an extra day to work. And we have some people that this is clearly a second career for them. Mm -hmm. They may not choose to drive to the county mm -hmm. five days a week for this mm -hmm. job. There may be some senior, experienced, professional drivers mm -hmm who because of the economic cost to them mm -hmm. and the fact that we get paid so little mm -hmm. may just not do this. Mm -hmm. They just may say, you know, I'm done now. I am going to retire and go fishing. Because you have a background in finance and economics. And I do. You have some I, understanding of, of these budgets and how they work. I was the former managing director of what is now IH Global, in, Global Insights. Um, worldwide energy and utility practice. Um, I worked all over the world and I have spent most of my adult life looking at numbers and forecasting the future. So so the stage management claims that this is really being done as a, as a cost savings in response to this economic crisis as it's been called by some and you, you've said previously that you, you think the stage could look at other places for some savings. I do. Um, according to Martina Ferris, the director of the um, finance department of the uh, Summit County, the stage is projecting a $3.4 million surplus for the year 2010, for the fiscal year. Is that accurate to call it a surplus? Is, is that a, could it be called a reserve as well? <clears throat> there is the Tabor Reserve. Mm -hmm but that's accounted for in that number. So the free reserve is maybe a half a million dollars less than that. Okay. So it really is a free reserve. It's dis it could be spent uh, as a discretionary expenditure. Okay. Are we talking about potentially laying off uh, more people than we're, I mean, cutting back to levels below last summer because no. of the schedule shift in addition to the in addition to the change to hourly service. So when they cut back to hourly service, they were able to cut they were able to cut drivers. That's what happened last summer, right? They laid off some drivers. That's right. Our last year's layoffs yeah. were a direct result of the reduction in the half hour service. Yeah. And I think there were ten or eleven laid off last year. How does that affect folks who are biking around the county during the summer during the day? For every bus that's not running, there's three less places to put a bike. And that has an impact on the destination guest. It's a problem. We leave lots of people with kids mm -hmm. and families who can't get their bikes on the buses. 
I know there's a, a core of people in the county that use buses on a daily basis to commute to work and so on. What was their reaction when we switched to the hour service? We haul around the rank and file in the community. We haul around the workers. And they had to change their lives to accommodate the cut in service that's happened every summer. And I believe that the officials of this county have a responsibility to do what they tell the taxpayers that they're going to do. In a sense, I believe that we should hold the county accountable mm -hmm. for half hour service because that's what the voters of Summit County voted on. Mm -hmm. This system is going to run really tight mm -hmm. with the schedule that's been proposed. Mm -hmm. and. We really think that needs to be rethought. Mm -hmm.